Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to share good condo buildings that have some of the lowest maintenance fees in the city. Before we proceed, for those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Amrit. I help buy and sell real estate in the city of Toronto. And if you have any questions about real estate, you can book a call with me as per your convenient time by clicking on the calendar link mentioned in the description below. Now let's get right into it. Before I get to the condo buildings, I need to highlight two important factors or criteria. First being that the condo buildings I've taken for this video, they're at least five years old. So basically I've not taken any brand new condo buildings because the maintenance fee in a brand new condo buildings is ultra low because they're not yet exposed to any major repairs because they have just recently opened up. So in a couple of years from the day of opening of a brand new building, the maintenance fee starts to creep up rapidly. So that's something to keep an eye out on. Second criteria I've taken is that the condo buildings I've handpicked for this video, they do not have the fanciest or the best amenities because the amenities cost money so amenities help in pushing the cost or the maintenance fee go up quick tip if you're looking to buy a condo with one of the lowest maintenance fees then look for condo buildings with less or no amenities so if you're a first-time home buyer or an investor and you're looking for a condo building with one of the lowest maintenance fees in the city then this video is for you now let's check out the buildings First up, we're looking at his 78th Tecumseh Street, also called Minto 775. This 16-story building was developed by Minto developer. It's a pretty good developer. Uh, this building was built 10 years ago, and the maintenance fee we're looking at is 52 cents per square foot, which is not too bad, which includes heat. Hydro and water is separate, which is not included in the maintenance fees. Uh, you can find one bedroom condo for about like higher 500s give and take. Uh, and the size of that condo is about, we're looking at is about 550 square feet. and the maintenance fee of that size of condo is about $280 per month, which is not too bad in my opinion. Overall, this is a pretty good building and it's located at a pretty nice location in King West, which is pretty nice. Now let's head to the next building. Next up is 43 Hannah Avenue, also called Toy Factory Lofts. Uh, this building used to be a toy factory and was converted into lofts by Lendera Developments in 2008, which is about 15 years ago. The maintenance fee we're looking at is 59 cents per square foot, which includes heat and water and hydro separate. So the units in this building does come with a price and there are two reasons one being the units in this building are pretty big so that's one of the reason and second reason is this is a boutique building unlike the cookie cutter condos which we see uh, pretty often in the city you can find one bedroom unit for about eight hundred thousand dollars i know that is steep but the size of that we're looking at is about 800 square feet and the maintenance fee for that size of a condo we're looking at is about 400 dollars to 450 bucks a month uh, so in overall in my opinion this is a very good building and it is located in liberty village and this is one of the only few buildings in which we saw the maintenance fees came down a few years back and it has kind of stayed stabilized at 59 cents per square foot which is sweet so the third building we're looking at is at 95 Bathurst Street. Uh, this is a 16-story building developed by Freed Developments. They have good presence in the city. Uh, this building is 11 years old and the maintenance fee we're looking at is 62 cents per square foot, which includes heat and water. That is nice. Uh, you can find a one-bedroom condo at an average for about mid to high 600s. And the size of the condo we're looking at at this price point is going to be about 550 square feet. And the maintenance fee of this size of a condo is going to be about $350 a month, which is not too bad in my opinion and uh, this condo building is located at King and Bathurst intersection so there's an Ontario line subway station coming up so that's a good thing but the downside is that there's going to be a lot of construction let me quickly show you on the street view so this is the building 95 Bathurst and on the south side of this building this is where they're going to construct Ontario line subway station this is where the regulars used to be and now they're going to build a subway station uh, so over here and the subway station is going to be right over here and on this right corner and on top of this subway station they're going to build condo towers so until when the construction is completed, there's going to be a lot of chaos and mess, to be honest with you, when it comes to construction. But once the construction is completed, uh, it's going. this intersection is going to be look very, very nice and it's going to appreciate the value of the real estate of the surrounding areas. So now let's go ahead to the next building. So next building I'm going to talk about is Triple One Bathurst, which is also a nice building with less maintenance fees. Now let's check out the facts of this building. So Triple One Bathurst, also called 111 Condos, this building is 17 stories, developed by Harriet Developments. Uh, this building is seven years old, and the maintenance fee we're looking at is 57 cents per square foot. And uh, you can find one bedroom condo at an average for about mid to high 600, just like 95 Bathurst. The maintenance fee is also similar to uh, 95 Bathurst again. The maintenance fee of a 500 square feet condo is going to be about 350 bucks a month. Just a heads up, this building and as well as 95 Bathurst, they both are at a very, very uh, busy intersection so if you're someone who doesn't like the hustle bustle of the city then you should avoid these buildings but otherwise in my opinion these are good buildings now let's check out the next building 
So the fifth building we're going to talk about is 18 Stafford Street, also called Wellington Square. This is an 11-story building developed by Plaza Corp. To be honest, Plaza Corp has not developed many buildings in the city, but they've done a pretty good job in developing this one. Uh, this building is 19 years old, pretty dated, but still it's the maintenance fee we're looking at is 63 cents per square foot. So this means the building has been managed well. Uh, the, you can find a one-bedroom condo at an average for about $600,000, and the average size of this price point we're looking at is 600 square feet, give and take. So basically you can find uh, condos for thousand dollars per square foot and the maintenance fee we're looking at is 350 bucks a month for this size of a condo this building is located at Strawn and King Street West. Pretty good location and a neighborhood, in my opinion. Uh, Stanley Park is around the corner, which is a very good park. And that's pretty much. And I hope I was able to give some value today. And if I did, then please subscribe to the channel. That really, really helps. And thank you for watching and see you in the next video.